So this is chapter 3, entitled A New Home. Here we're reintroduced to Kara. And of course we get to see Todd again. He's not a very nice guy, is he? If you've ever been told to do chores in your life, then you're prepared for this chapter. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Father of the Year Award right here. So there is a lot to do in this chapter. Not all of it's required to complete, but if you do want to get the entire flowchart, you're going to have to do it like this. First, we're going to gather all the plates from the dining table right here. Sup, Alice. Now we're going to bring it yeah. to the sink over here with all the rest. Depends on what you need. Of course the dishwasher's not working. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You. Mm. Just gonna have to wash my hand. And yes, they're actually making me do work right now. Come here, child, and help me. Oh, more work. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Todd requires sustenance. So we're gonna do as he says. We're we're a good android. And now we're gonna go back to the dining table because we have a magazine to read. <clears throat> now keep in mind when you read things in this game, if you want to get any kind of achievements, flowchart. You're going to want to read all of it. Each of these magazines have multiple pages and they have usually two different issues you have to go through. All right, now we're going to go outside. Nope accident <laughs> outside to the garden backyard area there's a red laundry basket we have to pick up over here and we're gonna go and get the clothes off the clothesline Alice is very interested in us. 
She was probably close to the mo model of car that existed prior. So we're going to kneel in front of her. And we're going to talk to her for a moment. We're going to talk about a game. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? And we're going to mention the backyard. You like playing out here? And even though she didn't respond and she, you know, was kind of quiet and everything, we, uh, we still raised some reputation with her. So now we're going to head through this door on the right to the laundry room. Go for the detergent. And we're going to find red ice in there. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business, unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. It's starting to look like the previous model of car was not hit by a car. So even though we enraged Todd there, we wanted that. That actually completes a section of our flowchart. And it has no negative impact on anything else we'll be doing. But since we're on a roll with pissing off Todd, there's one more thing we can do that I'm sure he'll love. And that is to stand in front of the TV. Out of the way for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. And that gives us disturbed Todd on the flowchart. I don't know why I walked all the way around the long way, but we are going to activate the vacuum cleaner over here. Did she just jump in front of the vacuum cleaner? Yep. Alice! You better stop that right now! Aw. She was being adorable. Why is she always pushing me? Alright, so we're gonna take the trash can. We're gonna clean this counter right here. Then we're going to clean in front of Todd. I'm going to walk all the way around again. Because androids never tire. I'm going to collect all of this. Take our trash bags. Now we're going to head outside and put them in the trash can. This is difficult when the views are changing. <laughs> All right. So now we have to report to Todd. Fuck, man. No, oh, he looks like he's in a good mood. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. 
Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. He wants us to stop bothering us, or bothering him rather. But if we had not reported to him, he wouldn't have enjoyed that either. So now we gotta clean it upstairs. I'm gonna skip all of this at the moment, and we're gonna head to the bathroom at the end of the hall. I'm gonna tidy up the clothes on the ground. And the bottles. Now there's a mop we need to use that's in the corner of the room. Alright, done with the bathroom. Right across the hall, this door with the drawings on it is Alice's room. She has a nice little Ford in there. So we're going to open the window over here to ventilate the room. And it helps if I press the right button. And this will also open up an action later on in the game for us. Nope, I did not want to make the bed yet, but that's fine. Go to the dresser. Ah, it's locked. All right. And then making the bed, of course, was important. So now we're going to go to Todd's room. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty disgusting. So anyway, there is a magazine right here. Once again, we're going to have to read both issues. So now there's a lot of tidying to do. One of them is the guitar. And we got the albums. Then over here is some clutter. Uh, if I can make my character move at all. bottle which we cannot take ooh a gun that unlocks something later I think it's this side with the clutter isn't it yes it is Also, these bills right here we need to clean up. So if we exit Todd's room now, Watch it. we'll see him exiting his restroom. So now we need to go in there and clean that. I 
And then we're going to go make his bed last. The reason we do that is because that triggers Alice to go back to her room. And we wanted to clean that other restroom first. Alright, so now we're going to go see Alice. And she's still frightened of us. We want to look at this book. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. And that raises our reputation with her. And then right here about a door. The bookshelf. We want to look at that. Seems you like reading. Now we can go talk to Alice. I don't think there's anything we missed. Ventilating that room really doesn't serve a purpose. I thought. Apparently I'm wrong. Alright, now we can talk to Alice. Ooh, some guide maker I am. Thought it was only this room that needed to be ventilated, but it's been a while since I played this one. You can be friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. We're gonna name... Tell her Your name. father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? I'm gonna mention interests. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. I'm gonna ask about our mother. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? And now it does lower our rating with her, but it's necessary. She does trust us. She gives us a key to her treasure box. Just gonna open that. Four leaf clover for luck. It's something a child would keep. That's the family a long time ago. like mother I'm not sure that may not be the mother crying with blood might be Alice but no Alice has blonde hair yeah I think that was Alice and now it's um Kara Of course, Kara is destroyed. So now we know about the abuse. 
if you didn't suspect before. So now we're done with everything. We're gonna go downstairs and finish up this scene. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? He's insecure. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. It's mental illness brought on by tough times. All right, so we accomplished everything. I do apologize for getting lost <laughs> for all that ventilating his room. It's been about maybe eight months since I played this last. Can't believe I forgot to do that. I thought it was optional, just like looking in the mirror and a couple turning on the TV. Um, what we still got there. Um, so yeah, we were welcomed home. Not really though. We read Android Power and Connecting the Dots because that was important. Uh, we checked the backyard, put away the laundry collected dishes, washed them. We talked to Alice, and it was important to mention both playing a game and the backyard with her, because that raised our reputation with her. So we washed the clothes, we found Todd's red ice, and we stood in front of his TV to piss him off. So that's important too, because we don't like Todd. We activated the vacuum cleaner, and we got to see Alice play with it, so that was fun. We took out uh, all the trash after gathering up all the cluttered and junk that Todd lives in and uh, brought it outside. And then we had to tackle upstairs after we poured into him. So we uh, we tidied his room entirely, um, pills. We got to see the gun. That's very important. And we also um, opened up the window in Alice's room to ventilate, which will give us an escape route later. We cleaned both bathrooms thoroughly, which gave my thumb a little bit of a workout, and we read a couple more magazines in um, Todd's room. We got to have a chat with Alice, and the options we chose were very important um, to raise her trust enough for, us, for her to give us a key in which we open her treasure box and we find evidence of the abuse. So then we finish cleaning, go downstairs, and we watch a bit of a mental breakdown happening with Todd. Now, I thought about this with other videos that I haven't been showing the world stats, and I'm not sure if that's important to anyone watching. But you do have the option in this game to show what choices people have made in the past, um, those playing online. You can also compare it to your friends. So this is an idea of what most people do. It seems about half people, uh, half of the people manage to enrage Todd and uh, find his drugs. And uh, just about everybody cleans thoroughly. So there's really only one ending to this. So of course we all reach that one ending. Um, just like with Marcus's uh, last chapter, Marcus buying the paint, there was only one ending. So the only thing we've had so far that had multiple endings, five or six, was the opening chapter with Connor. And as we progress in the game, we're going to see more and more open-endedness. 
and the videos will become more complex and longer, so it'll take time for me to upload. Then you'll see me make some mistakes along the way, as I did in this one uh, with the villain laid in the room, because I'm doing most of this from memory. But uh, I do hope that you enjoy it despite that, and um, stay tuned for more in the future. I'll be trying to upload upload pretty regularly um, as I play through the game. And uh, check me out on Twitch under Kazarus, twitch.tv slash Kazarus, so you can watch me play games live and uh, joke around and uh, mess things up occasionally for, uh, for humor and play games with friends. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. See you next time.